A gas engine converts fuel and air into energy that makes your car go. The fuel pump regulates how much fuel gets pumped into the engine and the oxygen sensor or O2 sensor regulates how much oxygen is needed. There's also another O2 sensor that monitors your exhaust. But what happens when that sensor goes bad? Let's look into it. What is an oxygen sensor? The oxygen sensor helps the engine maintain a good mixture of air and fuel. It does this by measuring how much oxygen is in the air compared to the exhaust. This allows it to detect imbalances in the fuel-air mixture and communicate that information to the powertrain control module, PCM, which then adjusts that amount to help your engine run better. Why is an oxygen sensor important? Not only does the O2 sensor help your engine run more smoothly, but it also improves efficiency and creates cleaner emissions, lessening the amount of pollution your car creates. What happens when an oxygen sensor goes bad? When an oxygen sensor fails, it is no longer able to detect and communicate the level of oxygen in the exhaust. This leads to a leak of regulation and balance between fuel and air, which means your car could run lean, if there's too much air versus fuel in the engine, or rich, if there's too much fuel versus air. It can also lead to a negative impact on the environment. The inability to regulate emissions also leads to more pollution. Symptoms of a bad oxygen sensor Number 1. Illuminated check engine light As we all know, the engine light could mean any number of things. One of those things is a failing oxygen sensor. As a side note, the check engine light is generally illuminated due to an issue related to emissions. Number 2. Poor gas mileage Since the O2 sensor isn't ensuring the balance of air and fuel, your car could be using up more fuel than necessary, which leads to poor gas mileage due to inefficiency. Number 3. Poor engine performance since a bad oxygen sensor messes up the whole fueling system, you will likely experience issues with your engine. Your engine could be more sluggish than usual, lacking the power it usually has. Other engine issues could include everything from rough idling to poor acceleration or misfiring and even stalling. The imbalance of fuel keeps the engine from running properly. Number 4. Black smoke or gas smell from the exhaust pipe. Without the oxygen sensor letting the engine know that the fuel is too rich, the excess unburnt gas could leak right out of the tailpipe. This could present itself as black smoke, a smell of gas or rotten eggs, or both. Number 5. Failed Emissions Test If you live in a state where emissions tests are run, that faulty oxygen sensor will likely cause you to fail. A bad oxygen sensor will cause too much or too little oxygen in the exhaust which means a failed emission test. Causes of a bad oxygen sensor Number 1. Age and mileage Sometimes, the reason an oxygen sensor goes bad is as simple as usual wear and tear. Since it is constantly exposed to high temperatures, over time, it can become worn out. Oxygen sensors aren't meant to last forever, and it's recommended that you get your O2 sensor inspected every 30,000 to 100,000 miles or so, replacing it when necessary. Number 2. Contamination An oxygen sensor can break down due to contamination. Some contaminants include excessively rich fuel mixture, oil blow by in older cars, and coolant being burnt in the combustion chamber following a gasket leak. Can you drive with a bad O2 sensor? Yes, you technically can drive with a bad O2 sensor. The problem is, without the sensors, your PCM will incorrectly pump fuel, leading to a rich or lean mixture. This ultimately leads to bigger problems with the catalytic converter and engine, so it's not advised. How much does it cost to fix a bad oxygen sensor? Depending on what type of car you drive and how much your mechanic charges for labor, a new O2 sensor could cost anywhere from $150 to $500. Can I fix a bad oxygen sensor? 
While you may be able to fix an O2 sensor on your own, it's unlikely that you will be able to tell exactly what the problem is. In many of today's cars, O2 sensors are hard to get to, so it is advised to take your car to a mechanic if you have a bad oxygen sensor. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel and leave your comments below. Thanks for watching.